to www.agelesshealth2012.com for your special invitation. Do you suffer from the debilitating symptoms of chronic pain, swelling, and loss of joint motion due to arthritis? Are you taking drugs like Celebrex and Vioxx or other super aspirin prescriptions? If you are, you're increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke by up to 50%. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, host of Dr. Tom Rosell Live Sundays at 12 noon. Why live with pain or the dangerous side effects of drugs when the doctors at the Rosell Center for Healing practicing 21st century integrative medicine can help you experience relief like never before? Simple, safe, chiropractic, acupuncture, and nutritional care can provide significant relief from arthritic pain in less than six weeks. More than 70% of our patients experience a return to life far beyond their expectations. Give yourself the best gift possible, freedom from arthritic pain, naturally. Call today to schedule an appointment. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. Dr. Tom Rosell live right now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. I'm live in studio. Give me a call, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-WMAL. Love to talk to you. A little wet and damp and, you know, kind of fallish outside. But nevertheless, I'm here to answer your questions on anything you'd like to talk about in the realm of integrative and holistic care from a natural point of view, without drugs, without surgery. Perhaps you've tried, you've applied, you've done everything you know to do about your problems. Well, here's an opportunity to change the look at things, if you will. Maybe we can uh, put you in a different direction, something that might actually work for change. 888-630-9625. Have a lot of things I want to talk to you about today, several things that are uh, cutting edge in the news. Uh, had some patients ask me questions that are always asked of me is how do we do what we do and why do we do what we do, and particularly when it comes to very significant cases of cancer and autoimmune conditions and things of the nature that just kind of have everybody befuddled. And we're going to talk about our approach to care. We're going to talk a little bit about how your body responds in the ultimate crisis of cancer. And I want you to understand something. I don't treat cancer, and but I treat you. I treat your body's immune system. We treat your body's neurological system. We're going to get into that in depth and what that really means and how cancer often is the end product, the end result of your body's failure to defend itself because of the insult, if you will, from structural chemical and emotional battering that it takes over a period of, of many years sometimes. But can you beat cancer naturally? Can you beat any type of condition that seems to have a hold of you. Well, the bottom line is it's not the cancer. The cancer is the end product. It's your body's not working the way it's supposed to. And we're going to deal with that, and we're going to talk a little bit about a follow-up if we can on the radiation exposures that we started about four or five weeks ago uh, from Fukushima in Japan. See, I actually now know how to pronounce the word. Yes, Luke, I do. So, you know, sometimes it takes a little longer, but I can say Fukushima with the best of them. And we're going to talk about some of the, the things that are in the literature on that, and it's going to be a very interesting day. But in the meantime, 888-630-9625. I want to thank many of you who showed up at the Result Center for Healing last week for the presentation on thermographic imaging. Uh, Tabby Liner was your presenter, your host, and she did a phenomenal job. Got to hear the tape, and yes, there was a tape, and many of you uh, were... Uh, unfortunately accosted, if you will, by a physician who decided to show up at the event and uh, cause a stir because his premise was that thermographic imaging had no basis whatsoever. Unfortunately, the good doctor does not have all the data and does not have all the information. So next time that he has an issue with it, I'd like to know so I can make sure that I'm there for the entire presentation and be more than happy to answer any of all of his questions. You know, when you come from a place of ignorance sometimes and you have the blinders on and you don't know what's out there and you make statements of the nature that, for example, that there is no way to prevent breast cancer, there is no way that you can stop the insidious breakdown, well, you know, that just tells me that 
you haven't been studying too much. And I'm more than happy to talk to you or anybody else on the subject or any subject when it comes to prevention. And all you got to do is get a hold of me at roselcare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E. And I'll invite you in. We'll have a long conversation. We'll have a professional discussion. You let me know ahead of time. We'll have a discussion on the air. Don't have a problem with that either. So, you know, let me know. But again, my hat's off to Tammy Liner. She did a great job in handling the question. I salute you. It was wonderful. We're broadcasting at 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. So let's talk a little bit about what it is that we do while we're waiting for you to chime in and how we handle it. But mostly, let's talk about it from something that you can hand your, uh, hang your hat on, if you will. You know, this is something that started in the early 70s. It's called Beat Cancer Naturally. Well, what does that really mean? Well, President Richard Nixon proclaimed a war on cancer in the 70s, and after 40 years, you know, of fighting this war, guess what's happening? We're losing, and we're losing badly simply because of the fact that surgery, radiation, or chemotherapy don't make it. They don't work. And if you ask most physicians why they do something, it's because that's the protocol. That's what they do. And, you know, you have this, this thing called cancer. You have this thing called autoimmune breakdown in your body. And the body just is at the place where it's trying to salvage you. And many physicians, many medical physicians will say that when you end up with cancer, it's the body's end result of all the things that have happened to it. But it's, it's trying to stimulate an autoimmune response. Interesting article that came about in the uh, Journal of Oncology recently, and basically it said that cancer is big money in the medical machine. Yeah, really big, big money. And according to that journal and the way that it was reporting the statistics, a uh, cancer patient is worth nearly $300,000 to the hospital and the doctors, and, you know, it's like a big fish when it comes in. That's a lot of cash. That's a lot of green. So, and there are many figures out there, by the way, that says that number, 300000 is way too low, that the numbers are actually closer to a million dollars. My son worked for a cancer uh, database company, one that helped doctors work together integratively and chose the therapies that were most effective, if you will, for the dollar uh, out of Pennsylvania before he came back into the Washington metropolitan area. And it's, you know, we'd go back and forth and we'd talk about the effectiveness from a preventive model. And he said, you know, Dad, he said, listen, he said, the companies aren't going to rapidly step up to the plate and embrace integrative therapies simply because of the fact the money, the dollars are too big. And, you know, they may modify, and there's a lot of people that are winning here, and the drug companies are the guys that really win the battle because, you know, it's all about drugs, it's all about surgery, it's all about all those things that medicine does. Unfortunately, in this particular situation, it doesn't work. So since cancer is so incredibly lucrative and other immune function problems like that, you know, don't count on medicine to say, okay, listen, you know, we're ready to uh, to look at it from a natural point of view where the cost is a fraction, if you will, pennies compared to what the medical approach is. You know, along with the medical approach, there are countless other alternative methods. I mean, there's tons of them out there. And the problem for me is the what happens is that met, or these guys that are using the you know, the, the other approaches, for example, things like uh, the Gerson method or the Kelly enzyme method or hoxitoxic, uh, the Budwig detoxification, uh, uh, Brzezinski's me- method, high-dose vitamin C, uh, and it goes on. There's tons, Laetril, IP6, uh, Protocell. They look at that the same way some of the physicians look at the other pieces. Like, that's all there is. There is no other way to do it. You've got to use these things because these are the things that work and nothing else works. Having said that, we have to say and stand back, yeah, they've saved a lot of lives. But it's still not the only approach, and there's ways of handling things, in my opinion, far better And that's what we want to talk about. The problem that I see basically with the alternative approach in these arenas is is simply said, saying what I just said. They embrace that above everything else, and they say nothing else works. Well, there's a lot of other things. So when a patient comes to me and I see a cancer patient, 
Now, bear in mind, I don't treat cancer. And I tell the patients that straight up. They're usually in terminal stages, or they're, they're at least progressed to third or fourth phase. They have no other option. They've gone everywhere. They've done everything. And they come into me and say, hey, you know, listen, you got this crazy reputation of being able to help people. And, you know, what can you do? And, you know, I stand back and I look at them and I look at, you know, all the things that we do from the structural, chemical, emotional pathway. And then we look at their history. When did all this start? How did it start? What were the the things that may have brought this about? And we're going to talk about that a little bit today as well and how you actually unfold a patient through their history and what diagnostic tests should you run that are outside traditional care. It's important that you have a full picture and all too often when a patient who has cancer or other autoimmune problem presents themselves, uh, we compartmentalize everything. We only look at, well, the cancer's in the lung or the cancer's in the colon or the cancer's in it, wherever it is, and we treat that. We cut it out. We drug it. We do whatever we can and dramatically damage the rest of the body on the way to treating that thing. You know, I want you to know straight up, as a matter of fact, I don't treat or cure any autoimmune type of condition. The body is an amazing piece of machinery. It is incredible in of itself. It was given everything it needs. What we do is allowing the body to express itself by balancing systems and allowing the body to begin to work the way it was meant to work. You know, I look at a patient neurologically. I look at a patient metabolically. I look at a patient through the acupuncture system. I look at a patient through his history and see what things are not working the way it's supposed to. So when you support the neurological system and you balance and you make sure that neurological transmission is working properly and stimulating its message to the organ systems and to the immune systems and so forth, when you look at the metabolic needs of the patient, where the deficiencies are, where the toxicity is, where the inflammatory levels are building up in the body and you handle those things but not just handle them by putting out the fire but answering the question why it came about in the first place then you actually have an opportunity to turn things around actually the body begins to turn things around many patients I've seen cancer patients uh, come into my practice as I said as a last end product you know they've had many rounds of chemotherapy. They've been here. They've had things cut out. They've had things lopped off. And they don't have anything, er, any other place to go. They're just kind of there now. And, you know, what am I going to do, die? Well, the bottom line is, is that cancer, again, is the ultimate chronic illness. It's the end piece that the body says, I'm sick. I have a problem, and I've had it for a long time. Cancer, I found in uh, that these patients have been unhealthy for years. It's not something that just happened. You know, whether it's being sick because of exposures, and we're all being exposed to all kinds of things. We're never taught really how to deal with them. And it's this web of physiological and neurological and metabolic dysfunction that ultimately presents itself in this thing that medicine likes to call cancer. Well, and as I said, I'm not the first guy that they see because they don't look at me as that, but because of word of mouth, they know that I can begin to support neurological, immunological function. And But we see these patients come in with all kinds of things from their intestinal tracts not working at all. They have a permeable gut, meaning the gut is, is like a, a, a cheesecloth. It allows things to filter through or sieve. We have blood sugar dysregulation problems, uh, insulin insensitivities. And when you have one insensitivity, when you have one inflammatory level, that is presenting itself because of whatever. There are many others. The thyroid is going to be insensitive. The hormones, the androgens are going to be insensitive to transport, to get into the system, to actually make things work. When you have people who have suffered with this for a long time, it's like working a muscle that's been in overdrive. You know, you get into the gym and you work and you work and you work. Pretty soon you actually end up with the opposite of what you want to gain. You end up with the body not working and there's no muscle growth, and there's actually deterioration. This is what happens in these situations. Immune system, immune tissues begin to fail. There's anemic processes. There's lymphatic dysfunction. The body can't get rid of the toxin. The liver and gallbladder is not filtering. You have multiple phases, phase one, phase two. Thyroid comes in. Now, think about all the things I'm talking about. When you go to the doctor, and he says, 
you got a thyroid problem. When you go to the doctor and you say you got a gallbladder problem, you go to the doctor and, and you say your appendix is bothering you. That is the end product of so many other things that are taking place. You've got to be able to identify why. Was it a dental problem that started it? Was it toxic exposure? Was it electromagnetic radiation? What was it? Was it insult emotionally? Was it a, a person who had been, has been beat up emotionally for so many years, now their whole body is beginning to suffer? That's how you look at and address any condition, be it cancer or any autoimmune problem or any chronic pain, you've got to be able to look at it in very, very specific web that ends up producing what you got. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell live. I am in studio, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-WMAL. Love to talk to you. Got a couple things we're talking about, controversial, and that's I like to do those things because it makes you think. It makes you begin to question. You know, and I've said many times, if I don't do anything else on this program but stir it up a little bit and make you question not only myself but everybody else, you may end up in a very interesting state called much healthier than you are today because so much of what happens to us is a result of our not taking the information and researching it and really ask, asking the question of as many people as we possibly can. And you also got to be careful on the net. You know, the net, you can put in a symptom and you come up with all kinds of different things. And I go back to what I've told my patients repetitively over the years. When you hear hoofbeats, the symptoms, look for horses, not zebras. Look for the thing that is the most common because it usually is. But in saying that, when you have problems that show up, you need to begin to change the pace a little bit and begin to address the underlying why is that. You know, so that's what we do with, with patients who have cancers. We, when we have patients who have all kinds of autoimmune reaction, whether they're things like lupus or Sjogren's disease or chronic diabetes or degenerative anything, there's a reason. And you've got to be able to determine what the situation is from a neurological structural point of view, from a chemical nutritional point of view, electromagnetic and emotional. Uh, these things go far reaching and, you know, if the cause is chemical or nutritional, then you've got to break it down even further. You've got to look at the heavy metal toxicities. You've got to look at mold and fungus and even uh, Lyme's conditions, what everybody's out trying to attack today. But, you know, food toxins, the, the, the water that we drink, you know, we're out there trying to say, okay, I've got to drink bottled water, but we don't realize when we drink plastic or water from plastic, there's something called xenoestrogens, and the estrogen levels build up. We're seeing something called the vanishing male today is where men are losing their testosterone levels. They're losing the capacity you to become male from a biochemical point of view. Why? Because of the environment. Matter of fact, we're going to be doing a presentation in office on that, and it's going to be extremely, extremely interesting. And by the way, if you like the information that we're presenting, if you like all this stuff, you like coming to our classes, then let me tell you, two weeks from now will be Asia's Health 2012. And if you haven't registered yet, before we run out, get on the phone or go onto the web, go to rosalcare.com, and register. It's a day that will knock your socks off. It's an amazing event. If you think that I'm high-toned when you hear me generally in the office, you haven't seen anything yet. This is going to be above and beyond. It's a wonderful day. You'll go home with more data, more information. Plus, we provide an organic, non-gluten lunch for you. So be there. Show up. You'll, you'll have the opportunity to question and ask. And our guys will be there. And they'll be more than happy to engage you in any of the things that, that are on your mind outside of you know the presentation. But the presentations are amazing. They're absolutely outstanding. Love to have you there. Give us a call, 703-698-7117. Tell my staff that you want to attend Ages Health 2012. Let's go to the phones. Ruth, how can I help you? Thank you for your calling. Dr. Roselle, Dr. Roselle, my son, 47, has a history of about 20 years of smoking, and last year they saw a note on his lung, and they told him to come back in a year and they'd recheck it. But I'm tempted to tell him, to, I mean, to just let him forget all about it, because his dad passed of lung cancer, and I would hate for my son to go through rigorous cutting and dissecting and all the things that go along with that, as long as he's healthy and enjoying his life now. What do you think about that? Well, honey, Ruth, listen, there's a whole lot more that your son need, If The fact that something's showing up now is the time to do something about it, and it doesn't have to be from a medical point of view. If your son is willing to make some changes, we've seen patients over the years who have had all kinds of different malignancies and cancers, whether they're lung cancers or their spinal cancers or their uterine cancers or breast cancers or prostate cancers. 
And if you begin to change things, then the body will begin to bring up its immune reaction. And because that's what happens, you know, patients will, will hear me say, and, and I say this in a very supportive way, you know, the, the, uh, the power that heal, or made the body heals the body. There is no other way. And that means that we have an innate capacity, innate intelligence that if we, we support it, if we unlock it, if we begin to express it, the body can handle it. The, you know, putting your head in the sand, being an ostrich, is not a good thing either. So you should go back and recheck it. I would go back and find out what he's dealing with, and oh. but also get his hands into somebody that does integrative uh, sup, uh, work like us, or there's you know there's other physicians around who do that kind of stuff, and begin to change his physiological environment. If he does that, whatever's happening right now uh, can be, you know. Uh, elongated can be prevented can be enhanced in many ways but he needs a team that knows what he's doing not somebody that wants to get in there drug and cut and and remove him piece by piece but he can't ignore it he has to know he has to know what he's what he's dealing with so oh. my my encourage is yes find out if i can help you if i can refer you if i can you know uh guide you i'll be more than happy to you get online go to rosellecare.com and uh-huh. i'll be more than happy to go back and forth with you ruth i hope that helps give me a call this is dr tom rosell you're listening to dr Tom Rizzo live. I am in the studio, 888-630-9625, 888-630-WMAL. Love to talk to you on any subject you have in mind. We're kind of hitting some of the highlights of cancer therapies indirectly. Basically, what we're talking about is how you increase your body's immunological function to make sure that you're in the right direction and your body can do what it's meant to do and was meant to do naturally is heal itself. And it's totally possible to turn around almost everything no matter where you are and what stage you're in it's just a matter of changing your headspace and realizing that just the way you broke it down you can begin to shift it you know i tell patients when they come in with chronic problems they said how long is it going to take doc see everybody is programmed to do it like yesterday right they've been suffering with something for 20 30 40 years and they want it done yesterday well here's the deal it takes about three to five weeks of resolution time for every year that you've had a problem, providing that you're willing to step up to the plate, that you're, prov- that you're willing to do what it takes. Oh, there was a woman that I met many years ago, back in the summer of 94. His name is, her name was Kathy Buckley, and some of you heard the story. And she's a deaf comic. And I met her at a venue that uh, Tony Robbins was, was doing. And Kathy was telling her story. She was on stage. And basically the short end of that story was is that she had she was diagnosed in her early 30s, uh, 30, 31 years old, of having uh, stage 4 uh, ovarian cancer. And they told her that she had less than six months to live and so forth. And they told her, go home and, you know, there's nothing we can do for you if we do, you know, all the invasive stuff and surgery and chemotherapeutics and radiation. Might be able to give you a little bit more time, but not more than a few months. She left that office and her brain says, who gives you the right? And, you know, we're on radio, so I won't tell you exactly what she said to tell me that I'm going to die. I don't think so. She left that office and changed her whole attitude towards what she did, and she went to the extreme. She became a total vegan, 100% alkaline diet, She and did it well. I mean, very extremely well balanced. She started doing very, very low-level aerobic type of energy uh, exercise. Then she got acupuncture, and she got manipulative care and so forth. Anyway, short end of a long story, she goes back to the physician six months later, right? She's supposed to be dead. Guess what? She's not only not dead, but there was no sign of the cancer. So what I'm saying to you is that your body has the capacity, if you begin to support it the way that it's supposed to, if you begin to support you the way you're supposed to support you, you can change almost anything. When we, when we do Ageless Health 2012 on the 20th of this month, that's Saturday, we're going to show you, we're going to give you tools of how to turn your body around the very next day, things that you can do immediately, things that you can shift almost any paradigm with if you're willing to commit yourself and become a partner in your own cure, in your own resolution. Now, if you're not, if you want somebody to do it to you, do it for you, then then they can cut you and they can drug you and they can take out your parts and all those things. The bottom line is, you know, with all the money that's being spent in research, my opinion is that the cure lies within. The cure is uh, all about you. It's understanding 
that you have a responsibility for turning things around. You have a responsibility for taking control and getting exercise and breathing properly and eating well and lowering your stress and doing things that you have the absolute ability to control. 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-WMAL. Love to talk to you on any subject you have your mind. We're going to talk about a few other things that I think you need to know about. Like I said, um, we started a conversation a few weeks back, maybe a month or so ago, um, on radiation exposure and all the things that happen in Japan. And we talked about using different types of supplements for antioxidant protective uh, uh, damaging effects of ionizing radiation and the th- uh, things like mel- uh, melatonin were, were brought up. And there's other things besides vitamin D3 and that you need to be aware of. So let's just kind of revisit that a little bit. And uh, I'm going to kind of um, put a light on uh, some things that you need to know and need to use. The use of vitamin E and lipoic acid, particularly in children living in any area that is contaminated. And believe it or not, we have a lot of contamination surrounding us. Remember I said the uh, Fukushima radiation came up in these big, plumes, these clouds, and they got into North America, and they got into the soil, and they're in the foods that we eat, and in the fish that we, uh, that we consume as well. Not a good thing. And, you know, because of that, there's genetic damage. There's cellular uh, degradation. So you have to begin to change that environment. And how do you change the environment? We're talking about your environment, what's in your body. An article that was published called Antioxidant Therapy in Children Affected by Irradiation from the Chernobyl Nuclear Accident, and this was published by a guy by the name of Korkina and his associates. Uh, They authored this paper by pointing out that there were certain nutrients, vitamins, because of their high antioxidant properties, have treatment potential for individuals suffering from radiation exposure. So, you know, na- uh, excuse me, not natural non-toxic vitamins that possess antioxidant effects, chelating properties, meaning things that take from the body, get the garbage out, throw it out, allow the system to heal, uh, are excellent potential possibility for the treatment of uh, diseases that involved exposure damage from uh, the radical effects of radiation and other pathogenesis, other damaging uh, elements. And so, you know, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about two things specifically. We're talking about vitamin E and alpha lipoic acid. The paper reported the results of administration of uh, 28 days of two antioxidants, vitamin E and lipoic acid. And they did it separately and together uh, with children. And these kids that were involved in this disaster in Chernobyl a lot of years ago. And uh, it was amazing that the children were healthy, but all showed extremely high levels of the accumulation of uh, chemolucinescence, uh, chemilus- CL, uh, in their leukocytes and white blood cells, which was interpreted as an indication of enhanced oxygen radical activity and potential damage uh, to the system. So what happened? Well, here's what uh, you know what the experiment uh, followed up on. There was 56 children, and they aged from uh, 11.4 years plus or minus up to 21 years of age. There were 22 males and 34 females who were invited, uh, you know, to a holiday house near Moscow, uh, where they were a clinic, whatever you want to call it, and they were divided randomly into four groups and were given the uh, the administration of either uh, the lipoic acid or the lipoic acid and vitamin E or, in some situations, nothing. And so it was a double-blind study, and they wanted to see what had happened. So what they noticed, and by the way, the the administration was 200 milligrams of alpha-tocopherol, vitamin E, and in, in, uh, roughly to... 200 units uh, that you could you can pick up in the store. Uh, the children were without measurable uh, biochemical or hematological abnormalities. They there was maybe traces of things, beginning stages of things, but in the measures that they used, they didn't see much of anything. But the authors pointed out that in the initial spontaneous uh, CL in the the leukocytes of these children, they were elevated to about double of what they were expected, in some cases more of normal children. And alpha-lipoic acid and the combination of alpha-lipoic acid and alpha-tocopherol, which is vitamin E, lowered these levels to uh, 
absolutely normal levels, and in some situations, even lower than a normal titer would show. I mean, this is huge, and uh, these red blood cell uh, growth stimulating hormone levels were not raised because what happens is that you, when you give any of these things, you make a huge effect on these types of pathways. Sometimes you see a shift in the other direction, and in this particular situation, it wasn't. So we know that we have the capacity to protect the body from radiological exposure. Patients come into our office, and they've had x-rays. They've had PET scans. They've had CAT scans. And they say, what can I do for the harmful effect of the x-ray? I say, well, a lot. Particularly, you have to protect your, your thyroid and other issues. You know, we're talking about melatonin. We talk about uh, you know vitamin E. We talk about vitamin D3. We talk about all these things. And they look at me, and I said, yeah, you know, ACEs, you know, the old antioxidant package, if you will, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and selenium. There's many other things that work as well, but I wanted to update you on that. There's a lot of things that are out there. There's natural and semi-natural compounds of plant origin uh, radio protectors, and believe it or not, and you know, unfortunately, you know, to my rant, caffeine happens to be one of them. Ascorbic acid, vitamin C is another. Chlorophyll is another. Uh, glutathione is another. Uh, it, the, there's some interesting things that we've known about for many, many years that can be used and can cause reversal of damage, and particularly DNA pathways, the genetic expression, if you will, of who you are and how your body forms. So get up to date. This stuff is not hard to find. I just you know, take the time to go out there, and I look for these things so I can report them to you, and I can tell you about them. Uh, there's a lot of deficiencies that need to be identified and we find that some that patients who have higher levels of protection means that you know your diet's been really pretty good and you're more alkaline than anything else and you have a habit of of getting a lot of of free radical protectors in your body antioxidants uh, on a regular basis a day-to-day basis you don't have the exposure abuse, if you will, of other people who don't. And, you know, you got to keep it up. But does that mean that you don't need to do anything once exposed? No, you got to do it. The, you know, we talked a little bit about selenium, and selenium has tremendous radioprotective effects. So compounds found in variety of foods, for example, uh, that have selenium, garlic is one of them, broccoli is another. I know a lot of you don't like broccoli, but you got to eat it anyway. And, you know, is they're naturally occurring derivatives of low toxicities and they're found in things like soy and, and uh, certain beans and uh, selenium-enriched uh, yeast products and the like. So get online, do your homework, study, ask me questions. You can always find me at rosellecare.com, R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E, ask the question, and I'll get back to you. I'll point you in the right direction. Many of you have corresponded with me back and forth for a long time, and I try to do my best to give you the most update information as I possibly can. 888 that's triple eight six three zero. W M A L would love to talk to you. Have a very special announcement to make, and we're developing a new website, not for Roselle Care. That's there, and we've changed that. And those of you who have visited, and by the way, go back on because you'll see new things in our online uh, web store and so forth that we think, and we go very slowly because I handpick these things. I want to make sure that you have the opportunity for the best of the best. But there's something called drtomroselle.com, D-R-T-O-M, Roselle, R-O-S-E-L-L-E.com. Go check it out because we're putting together a web site that I think that you're going to find beyond educational. Uh, you're going to be able to find webinars, uh, some of our old presentations in the office. Where uh, There's one up there now. Dr. Browning has a webinar that's available on back pain and knee pain. Enjoy that. Go in. They're cheap. They're inexpensive. They're not going to cost you much. It's like you get to rent them for like less than 10 bucks and you can sit there and you can take notes and you can replay them and you know you can do what you need to do there's going to be information about uh the different events that we're doing and news is where i'm going to be lecturing and it's going to uh, talk to you about health and wellness it's going to talk to you about uh our upcoming 
special, Asia's Health, uh, the PBS special, the WIDA presentation in Washington. That's going to air November the 27th. November the 27th is the final date that WIDA PBS gave to us, and we are so proud of that. We are so happy, so excited that they're going to be showcasing our work, and you're going to see us in action. You're going to see how we handle things. Don't miss that night. Make sure you mark it on your calendars. It is profound. It is amazing. Talk to you about the Triad of Health. It gives you an opportunity also to sign up for a newsletter. Don't hesitate. Do that. It's my gift to you on a regular basis. I also blog on Facebook, and you can ask me questions there. You can ask me questions in the office. I will not ignore you. DrTomRosell.com. I'm very proud of it. Give me your input. Let me know what you think. Uh, we're going to continue to refine. It's not completely done, but it's getting there. And, you know, health is a do-it-yourself program. It's your birthright. Your optimal wellness is all about you. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. I've been in studio at 888-630-WMAL, as I am every Sunday at 12 noon, bringing you the most amazing and salient information as we possibly can on integrative medicine from nutrition, chiropractic, acupuncture, manipulative modes, and making you understand that health is a do-it-yourself program. It is something that is your birthright, maximum, ultimal Optimal health and wellness is your right. It's what the gift of your creator gave you when you came into this world and you drew your first breath. The body is extremely forgiving, even to the place where you have genetic pass-throughs. You say, well, I'm predisposed. That happens in my family. Everybody gets that. Well, here's the real deal. Here's what science knows, that 80% of your genetic map can be changed, altered, and enhanced or depleted based on your exposures, your thought processes, and your neurological stress patterns. 80%. That means that virtually you can change anything. So don't accept it. And if you have a condition and you're struggling through it, if your brain says it is, it is. You know, it's like the story I tell of uh, a guy who goes in his doctor's office for a health physical. And he's applying for a couple million dollars of life insurance. Well, they're going to explore everything, guys. They're going to find out what you got, what you don't got, and what you potentially may have. So he goes in and doctors all this blood work. says, I'll get back to you. And calls him up and says, Mr. Jones, listen, I'd like you to come in the office. Uh, your blood work. What's up, doc? Well, just come on in. I want to talk to you. And he says, sir, I'm, I'm really sorry. And this guy's an active uh, tennis player. He's on the go. He looks great. He feels good. And the doc says, I'm really sorry to tell you, but you're HIV positive. The guy sits there and looks at him. In that moment, in that very split second, the man's mind gave him a death sentence. And six months later, he's gone. He's not there. Why? He shouldn't have died. But because his brain accepted the di diagnosis of, you're going to die because you're HIV positive. And then yet you have people who have cancers and turn themselves around or conditions that they've been terminal from people like Norman Cousins that said, you know, you only got a few months left. Go home and get ready. And, you, you know, one of the, the most amazing uh, literature uh, editors around and magazine publishers. And he made it and went on to teach on the uh, mind-body connection at many different places. It's up to you. You have to make the decision. You have to step up to the plate. No matter what it is, it's really up to you. I try to bring you things that make you think. I try to bring you information that causes you to stir a little bit, that challenges the status quo, that allows you the opportunity. Because trust me, my friends, trust me, coming up this year, 2013, when this Affordable Care Act goes into effect, you better have the capacity to change your life. You better have the capacity to understand the information well enough and, and really get that your health is in your hands. Health is a do-it-yourself program because ain't nobody else going to care about you but you. There's, you're going to lose docs if this goes in. There's going to be physicians that you trust that are no longer going to be in business. You must take control of your health and your life. That's why I'm here. That's why I continue here. That's why you're going to be at Ageless Health 2012 with us. Looking forward to seeing you there and looking forward to giving you more information next Sunday at 12 o'clock. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. I'll see you then. Bye. Are you looking for great tennis instruction in a dynamic, challenging, and fun environment? Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rosell, inviting you to visit rjtennis.com to learn about the most popular adult tennis program in the metro area. RJ Tennis programs are packed full of energy and nonstop tennis. With exhilarating drills and games, RJ Tennis will energize your game, fitness, and life. 
So call a friend and sign up today at rjtennis.com. That's rjtennis.com. Did you know that breast cancer is on the rise and that routine annual mammograms can increase radiation exposure to breast tissue 1,000 times over a chest X-ray? The result could increase the risk of developing breast cancer. Now, consider a simple, non-invasive, and totally safe adjunct medical procedure approved by the FDA, which can detect evidence of breast cancer five to eight years before it can be visualized on a mammogram. Infrared thermographic imaging can accurately detect initial signs of breast cancer, such as increased blood supply, and metabolic rate, which is recorded as heat. Why expose yourself to radiation when accurate and safe medical detection is available? Call Thermography Centers at 888-485-7736. That's 888-485-7736. And for more information, visit thermographycenters.com. The Roselle Center for Healing is a proud supporter of breast cancer awareness and reminds you to conduct a monthly breast self-examination and include a thermographic breast scan as part of your annual wellness checkup. Suffering from chronic health problems? Tired of taking dangerous drugs? This is Dr. Tom Roselle, host of Dr. Tom Roselle Live. Join me on Saturday, October 20th for my Ageless Health Seminar, How to Live Well and Prosper in a Stressful World. And I'll show you how to increase the quality of your health and length of your life. Saturday, October the 20th at the Fairview Park Marriott Hotel, Falls Church, Virginia. Seating is going fast. Don't be left out. Register today at rosellecare.com or by calling 703-698-7117.